What's up party people? My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video we're going to be looking at the new Elementor theme builder version 3.0 coming to WordPress in just a few weeks. Now I think we can all agree that this update has been long overdue. The theme builder for Elementor has always had a dated look to it. It's always looked pretty bland and boring. So the Elementor page builder is making a new interface for the theme builder. In fact in my old video where I compared Divi versus Elementor I did mention the fact that uh, Divi's theme builder was a lot more intuitive and nicer than Elementor's. And I think Elementor caught on to that, so they are adding some improvements to their theme builder. So let's take a quick look at it and ta-da! This is the Elementor's new theme builder interface. Now remember, this is just in beta, so they will be adding to this. They will be improving it over time. There are some things right away that I can say that I would want to add, but let's just, you know, let's baby steps here, baby steps. This is in current beta. So for instance, we have the header, the footer, single post. So let's click on header. Let's just keep it basic for now. So let's click on the plus icon for header. And here you'll just go ahead and design your header. So you can go ahead and just pick a custom header. I will pick, let's see here, we'll, we'll do the screen button one. There we go, yeah. And then you can go ahead and customize this to your liking. You can change it and all that stuff. So once you are done customizing your header, you'll go to the bottom and click on publish and add a condition. Now, I do think this uh, does need some sort of improvements. I do like Divi's theme builder. I like the fact how um, on Divi's theme builder here, you can actually just click on template and just quickly select any of the areas that you want it to be added. But with Elementor, you still have to kind of you have to kind of dig through like, okay, go to archives and archives. We have to go to the categories under the categories. We have to go to this section, but with Divi, it's just all there, you know, and it's just a, it's a very quick way to uh, add sections. So that's just something to take note. They might probably add that in the future, but let's just keep this simple and go to entire site and go to save and close. All right. And another cool thing about what they've done is on the top left, we now have theme builder. So you don't have to exit the websites and, you know, hit the, hit your, uh, hit the, the, the site icon to go back to home. You can just go back to the theme builder and, and there you go. Now you're back to work. Now there is one little thing that they want. I think they have to change or add. So if I click on this and rename it, I'll just do main header, main header for main, uh, uh, let's see, main header for websites go to change. Uh, one thing to note is you can actually see the instances here and you can also, again, you can export it, you can delete it and rename it. But if you go back to all parts, you can visually see the header. I really like that idea. Um, so you can actually see the header being applied um, visually. So let's add a footer now. So just go over here and click on the plus icon and then just make a custom footer. So we'll just go ahead and let's, let's make a really ugly website here. Let's add this one. Let's add this one. You know, it's, it's easier to see on the eye, you know, and you'll go ahead and edit it of course, and then click on publish and just go back to theme builder. And that is pretty much it. Now, uh, again, I will have to rename it for that to appear. That could be some sort of bug because remember this is in beta. So I'll just put footer and go to change and go back to all parts and voila. Now I do like this. I think this is a huge improvement to their, uh, their current theme builder, which is this. The only thing that I would probably add for Elementor if you're watching this is maybe to have a separate area telling them where the footer or what is the footer and what is because unfortunately you do have a bunch of amateurs and it's all about simpl uh, simplicity. So let's say for instance, if I clicked on this and I renamed it, to something like a uh, template for sites, just to give you an example. If I named it template for sites and then go back to all parts, now I don't know if that's my footer or not. And unfortunately we might have amateurs that don't really um, know where it's being applied and that can cause some sort of confusion. Now comparing and contrasting this to Divi, we can see on the bottom right here, it says default website templates. And then we have, you can actually drag and drop. And I do like the fact that you can drag and drop stuff. So for example, for the blog post, we can just kind of drag and drop this. And you can also disable certain sections of like, like that just by clicking on that little eye icon. I do like that as well, but I do like the fact that Elementor, you can actually see it and visually know what's there. So I do like that in that regards. And let's just say I wanna add in a quick 404 page. You would just select the 404 page grab a template and then this will be applied and everything is all good to go. So what do you guys think about the theme builder? So I'm actually very happy Elementor rolled out this 
this uh, update because um, I've always said that the Elementor theme builder was a quote spaghetti nightmare because it's just, I mean, uh, looking at their their older theme builder, I think that this was a long overdue update. So I am very happy and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they add in their new theme builder. Now, also in the 3.0 version, they are adding global colors and global topography. However, I'm not gonna be covering that, but that is a big update that's coming to version 3.0 besides the theme builder. Personally, I've never really I've never really used those too much. I mean, I, I use them sometimes. It's cool to have. It's always nice to know that it's there, but um, I just don't use those too often. So that's just my personal preference. So this update should be coming to WordPress in just a few weeks. So let me know in the comments what you think about this theme builder. Do you like Elementor's theme builder? Do you think it's better than Divi's? I do actually like Divi's because I feel you just have more control over this. You know, you can actually duplicate something right there and then quickly assign it to uh, categories page. Now, I don't like the fact how you can't see what's being applied. So if I want to see what's being applied with Divi, I'll have to click on edit. I got I to gotta load the builder. This can take some time and this can be uh, quite tedious. But with Elementor, you can visually see the template being applied. I do like that. So there are some pros and cons to each. But let me know in the comment section which one you like and which one uh, you would prefer to work with. So this update should be coming out in a few weeks. I'm currently working on an Elementor ecosystem commerce tutorial and now I have to wait or I don't know if I should wait maybe I should just install the pro version and continue with this uh, tutorial I've been building this website for uh, I want to say two weeks now and I just finished it and I uploaded all my products we are all ready to go I even have free product pages I have free shop pages and now I'm kind of being held up by this update and I think I should wait until the updates because I don't want to release the video and then all right guys now go to your category page or your theme builder and then they see this and they're gonna say oh this video is outdated you know yada 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 you you know how people are when they see different screens they panic they freak out so I don't know maybe I'll just go ahead and add in the the beta and just do the video in the beta and see how that works out you know but uh, anyway so this video should be out in a few weeks and the theme builder should be out also in a few weeks I'll let you oh I got a text message oh I'm my bad here I'm my bad so anyways guys let me know what you think about the elementary theme builder my name is Daryl Wilson and I'll see all of you party people in the next video guys take it easy